Good morning, guys. It's Dee Dee from Blue Patch Studio. I've been away for a while. I've been on vacation and working in the yard. And I know I don't have to tell you guys what that working in the yard will do for you. When you do that, that's all you can do. Okay, this is a little project because I've been working in the yard trying to get my patio and stuff ready for summer. Um, I decided I wanted to paint my garbage can. Paint something really cute on it. So, I know this is a weird setup. Don't look at my junk in the back. This is, this is my little happy place. So I have my garbage can propped up on a big roll of quilt batting on my table and I have the bottom taped to the table and propped up on a tape dispenser and all kind of crazy stuff. But hey, we do what we gotta do. So I think I wanna paint a cactus on this. I'm, I'm not real sure yet, but and I think what I might have to do, I got a whole bunch of paint out in my paint palette and all my little favorite brushes. Don't they look awful? But hey, that's what your favorite ones look like. So I think I'm going to start by painting my, my cactus in white since this is black. So I won't have to put a million coats of paint. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but my voice is echoing in this can. That's crazy, and the lid's on it. Okay, so I'm just getting a little bit of white on my brush. Let's see if I can remember how to paint a cactus. Good thing about paint, all you got to do is paint over it if it's not what you want. Okay, I think I'm going to leave some of the bottom for maybe a little grassy area. And I don't know how this is going to work, painting on this ribbed can. Yeah, it's probably going to be. This might be a long video. Okay, we're just going to get a little coat of white on here. So our, our green will pop a little better. We're not, not going to try to be too perfect but just a good okay we're gonna have to dip out some more paint oh this is very different y'all paint one edge it uh wavy what do you call it you know what i mean probably gonna have to squirt out some more paint i hope i don't get my head in, in the camera. If I do, I guess it'll be okay. So I painted the base of this can. I actually was painting some light fixtures. Oh my gosh, guys. We have like this, we call it the outdoor kitchen, but it, there's no kitchen in it. It's just a, a covered area with a fireplace and a bar and it has a bathroom that's not finished you know for people to use out, you know when they're in the pool and stuff so um on the outside we have these lights you know on on at the top of the columns the brick columns and they were black when we put them up but i guess the sun has just destroyed them because they they were gray so i told my husband those are such eyesores up there let's let's go to lowe's let's grab four more put them up since we're, we're trying to you know fix things up out here that are looking ratty. So we go to Lowe's. Those things are $100 a piece. 
So you know how much paint and glue I could buy for $400? We are not doing that. So we went to the spray paint aisle. Got us some black spray paint. And we took those babies apart. Show sure did. Took them apart and painted them. Taped up the glass. And they look brand new. It was a job now, but I guess we 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 had we had more time than money that day. That's crazy. I I know that we did not pay that for them the first time. So, but they look good now. Look fresh, brand new. It's really weird because we took them completely down and you know, took them took them apart, painted them and then put them back up. Well, the the brick wall, the, the brick columns behind them, I don't know if it's reflecting. It looks like we spray painted them on, on the brick. There's some like black shadows around on the brick. It's crazy. I was like, my husband's like, I saw that too. It's crazy. Let's put, okay, I'm going to put a flower. Over here. I hope you guys can see this. I hadn't even checked y'all. We're just going to go with it. You know, cactus really grow funky. You're going to have to wait, sister. Logan's downstairs barking, wanting to go outside. You guys, any of you guys have a doggy door? I'm really thinking about getting one of those. Because she worried the stew out of you. She wants to go in and out, in and out. She goes that barks to go out, and then she comes back and barks to come in. So I don't know. Let's see. I'm not sure what what else to do. Guess we could put another big one right here. I don't, I don't know if I uh, talked to you guys about this, but the cactus that have the the big tall, that have the big, the arms, the big arms, did y'all know that it takes a hundred years for that cactus to grow an arm when it's, it's, it's just so crazy. And I've been dying to, every time I go to Arizona, I look for like a kid's book or something because I wanted to give it to my my grandkids, you know, so they could see that. And I don't know, I guess they could go on the internet now, but I just thought it would be cool to give them a little book that has the story of the... I just haven't been able to find one, so I guess that wasn't what I was supposed to do. I'm just rinsing my brush out a little. All right. Let's see. So I think I'm going to do little flowers on top. Okay, let's get us some green out now. And I just used um, just some regular white. I'm using this Christmas green. And another green. It really doesn't matter. Any any kind of greens you I'm gonna use this one. Spring green. Oh, I didn't get my yellow out. We need some yellow too. So I'm not sure if I want to paint my my flowers yellow or pink. I really want some pink and blue out there. 
Oh well. You know, have everything. I'm, I've been looking for some new um, cushions for my out my two lounge chairs. You cannot get them suckers at Lowe's. You have to order them online. Then the ones that I found that were so cute. They didn't have any. Okay, here we go with us a little bit of green, and I'm just loading up my brush. And even though this, this white is not totally dry, we don't care. Ugh. And I may care because I think it's going to pull it off. Okay, we're just going to lightly go over it just to get us a... See how that is so bright now with the white underneath. This may be more than one video. We got some baby birds in the birdhouse. It's so fun to watch them, watch their, their parents going in and out and and you know they're they're going in and out because the babies start hollering when they come to the door when they go in <laughs> i think they're hollering me 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 boy this is very challenging on these ridges that funky mixed with the white look. And you want to do light strokes because it's it's pulling up my my white. Oh, um, so that's how the garbage can got sprayed. I was painting my white fixtures. And boy, then I started looking around for stuff to paint that needed a touch up. So I thought, how cute. I've always wanted a cute little painted garbage can on my patio, so. funky right here and the more I mess with it okay we're gonna leave it alone let's go right here I'm really having to put a good bit of paint on my brush daughter's coming in tonight. She's coming in for her class reunion. How exciting. So I'll have to pick her up at the airport today. Okay, Delinda, stop touching it. That's that's what happens. I just keep touching. Gotta get a coat on there and let it dry. I wanted it to look like summery, bright, and, but I, I really wanted this cactus on here. 
just do. But it'll be bright. I thought about just doing flowers over the whole thing. I'll put flowers on. This will be blooming, so. I guess that will have to do. I hope I'm not shaking too bad. And you guys don't want to watch. It makes you nervous. My husband gets all freaked out when I'm shaking. He says it gives him the heebie-jeebies. He said, you're giving me anxiety. <laughs> right, well. Just went out a little bit too far right there. Got a little carried away. Okay, so does that look like cactus? Kinda does. Kinda does. Let's see. I, I better not touch it anymore because as I touch it. Because it might pull up if we don't let it dry. So let's work on some flowers. Let me wash out my brush. It was so hot here yesterday. We tried to work outside. Oh, but we've worked outside all day for the, since this time last week. We got in on Wednesday, I believe, and we were outside all day, I mean, all day, every day, all day, and it was super hot. Okay, I'm going to change brushes. As bad as I want to do pink, I think I'm going to do yellow. Maybe I could do some pink flowers or, I don't know. Okay, so I'm, I have my round, my little round brush. This one. And we're just gonna go to, I really need to go to this big one. Just gonna make some strokes like that. Now, the They're just kind of open little flowers. We're going to do a, maybe a little bud right here. And mine that I just put in my pot downstairs has a whole bunch on one little thing like that. So I'm saying it's okay. Let me just do a few of those. Let's do this one crazy. I got my air going like wide open up here. I was hoping it would help it dry. I'm chilly, but my paint's not drying. I really think I should do a big one on this one. Let's do 
a big one on it. Moving right along. Let's see, where else could we go with some? One of these might need to be trying to open a little. kind of cute that's gonna be kind of cute we're already at 20 minutes this needs to hurry up and dry so let's put some browns around the bottom Sorry, my, this paint is like super not mixed up. Like it squirted out nasty oil. Okay, there we go. some white over there so I'm just gonna pour that the paint on my palette's drying up maybe it'll dry on that can Okay, can you guys see the, the bottom right here? Let me see if I can move you just a little. Hold on, everybody, hold on. Okay, I'm going to be working right here. So I'm going to get some of my white. Because remember we... Oh, this is going to be... So, if you've ever been to Arizona and you see how the cactuses, cacti, I get in trouble all the time. You know what I mean. How they grow. It's super sandy. And there's, you, you wonder how this stuff is growing. And we're just getting a little base coat on here so this will look sandy. And I'll probably come back and repaint that that rim across the bottom black so it'll it'll look like it has an ending. All right, now we're gonna get two colors of brown. And let's see what we can get with that. See, my problem with painting is I, I don't know when to stop touching it with the paintbrush.
So let's. I know I'm gonna have to let this dry. And I'll come back with my green so it, it'll, it won't, well, it kind of looks like it's buried, don't it? I don't know. We'll see. Okay. We're going to have to let that dry. A little bit. Let's see. Do we go to this side? Yeah. And I'm just going back and forth, maybe giving it a different texture. And we'll keep adding to that till we get it. I really should be using this as my, my funky brush that makes like dots and it was just like a happy accident because it was a used to be a good you know flat brush and then it dried like this probably with paint down in there yep so now i make sure it dries like that because it's my dabber makes fun little See how it does? That looks sandy. See, we'll go back and do that. Um, we'll go back and do that with other colors on after it, it kind of gets dry. So, I'm not real sure. I wonder if I have some other color yellows. Yellow is not my color. I've not ever been a big yellow fan, so I only got one color yellow. I think. Let me check. It's in the old paint cubby area. Oh, I do have some another yellow. They're probably the same. Mm -hmm. Real yellow. Lemon. And I think that says yellow flame. <clears throat> so I have lemon and real yellow. Yellow. Ah, that says yellow flame. But they're they're kind of all the same, so they're not really any different. This one's I guess it's a little lighter, maybe. You know, it's crazy because some of these may be shiny and some of them may be flat. Let's see. Indoor. Oh, it's gloss. Okay, the flowers are gloss. This one is satin. And this one is matte. Okay. I don't know. I like this bright. It'll be alright. They'll just have some different looks. This brush. Oh, my water is looking nasty. Using these big brushes really make it muddy. They make it muddy fast. Okay. Let's go over these a little bit. Now, I'm not an artist. This is just how I paint. This may not be the right way. May, you know, it is what it is. This is just you watching me paint my can. Yeah, I don't think these, it's going to take a lot to cover these. And we may not totally cover them. Who knows? Just put a 
little bit over. Not sure if I did this one. My can is not totally stale either. It's, it's trying to wobble a little bit. Let's see, is our green ever going to dry? Yeah, I think this is going to have to be... We're going to have to come back in a few minutes, guys, and let this dry and see what that does for us.